guys, Bob's back in the studio again, bringing you another little unboxing, well, unpackaging video. And it's this, it's the Manfrotto, or Manfrotto, I'm not quite sure exactly how it's pronounced, but uh, I'll go with Manfrotto, uh, Pixie Mini Tripod. Now, I mainly got this for, um, well, basically for vlogging with, actually, uh, and I have mentioned it on my vlogging channel that I got this. And, as you can see, it basically works as a handle and also spreads out as a tripod as well. And if you look on the back it'll tell you basically, gives you a rough idea of what it'll hold so you know sort of what it's going to hold weight wise. So you can see there, compact system cameras, DSLR with standard lens kits, uh, compact cameras and your iPhone with a clip case. Now that's actually um, an add-on that is done by Manfrotto. And I'll leave the, uh, what I'll do is I'll leave the Amazon link underneath for this and then you can see all the add-ons that you can buy for it. Uh, these are actually very clever but with the iPhone 6 looming I won't be getting anything like that uh, foreseeably right now. But uh, there's always a possibility when, you know, maybe when the iPhone 6 comes along or any other device that takes my fancy then maybe I'll uh, look into getting a case if they bring one out for it. So you can see on there it's just got some very basic instructions because uh, you don't get a lot of instruction wise in here. You literally just rip the back open. You get this piece of paper basically. Uh, shows you your extra bits that you can get here uh, and the other stuff that they do. So you've got the clip case and you can see it's got lights on the side of it there. So you know you could actually use your iPhone for doing this sort of video or any sort of video really uh, with the extra lighting added on. And I believe they do a microphone as well. Um, you've also got compact tripods, LED lights, and a bag. Style, style, style plus bags. So uh, if I just, you'll be able to pause them over the uh, codes there and you'll be able to uh, scan and have a look if you want to. And that's pretty much it. You've got all your uh, different sort of warranty information there in all your different languages and in there is literally just a piece of cardboard that's literally quite you know, all it is so instruction wise you've pretty much got nothing however you don't really need the instructions for something like this because this is very very simple to use now as far as little tripods go it's uh, quite a weighty sort of product um, but uh, it's, it's very simple you've literally got the three legs that you can spread out like that and it's very very stable uh, it's got these little I don't know if you can see that yeah you can see these little rubber studs on the end of each leg there uh, your pattern pending logo inside there and you've got its part number in there and on the other side it tells you designed in Italy uh, if we fold it back up again you can see it's got the company branding on there and then you've got a standard thread at the top there now I was expecting this to actually twist so you could lock it up to your camera but you can't but then you don't need to because of course you can just wind it straight in and of course afterwards you have this button here you press that in now you can hear that's a little bit I was expecting something a little smoother and it might get smoother with time but you should be able to hear but there are little ridges in there so yeah other than that guys um, I think the only thing I suppose that I could have maybe thought yeah that could be better would be because of the you can see that like the, you've got the limitation with this edge here of how far over it'll go and if you tip it right over that's the sort of angle you're getting and I suppose it would have been nice if you could have had like a um, the ability to uh, get, I suppose, a, a closer up shot of something that was, you know, so you could get like an overhead sort of shot. Uh, that's the only sort of letdown, I think, really, but obviously they need to have a limitation and obviously the ball would have to be bigger. And, you know, it is. That's, so, I mean, it's by the by. But, I mean, uh, what I've been using it with anyway is just a cheap little add-on I think I paid about five or four or something off Amazon a while back 
and that's this and it's just for holding my iPhone in uh, I mean this will actually hold many devices it uh, expands right out and of course you can move this out as well so um, yeah make sure you uh, hit the comments underneath guys and uh, let me know what you think have you got a tripod do you use it I think for the money as long as you're going to use it plenty it's probably worth it uh, if it's one of those things that's going to spend most of its time in the drawer then it's maybe a little on the pricey side this one you might want to go for something a little cheaper so yeah please uh, give me a thumbs up and visit my website where I will leave a full written uh, write up on it once I've uh, gotten round to it and um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments guys okay See you in the next vid.